Today in the news, we got three leaked CPUs from AMD and their prices. Nvidia does something dumb and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about their lineup coming up, which is the 7900 non-X, 7700 non-X, and their 7600 non-X. All of those CPUs didn't have that much of a downgrade in terms of their specifications, at least when we're talking about their boost clock. It was all between 100 and 200 megahertz. On the base clock though, we saw big decreases of up to a gigahertz. And that of course, brought on some other differences like the fact that all three CPUs from 6 to 12 cores are all at a TDP of 65 watts. Well, those rumors or leaks that were there before are now reconfirmed. As seen by videocards.com, their sources sent them a slide of an upcoming AMD Ryzen 7000 launch. As you can see, we got the 7900, 7700, 7600. We got all of the specifications, but more importantly, we also have the price. So if we take a look, Look, the six core 7600 would cost $229, the uh, 7700 $329, and the 7900 would clock in at $429. At first glance, I was a little bit confused and I thought that the prices were way too high, especially when compared to their X variants during the holiday season. The 7600X was selling for $249, so only $20 more than this one right here. The 7700X was going for, I believe, $349, which is once again, only $20 more than this model right here. And the 7900X was going for about $479, I believe and in here it's 429 so once again not a huge difference well there's a little more added value to those specific cpus in that they come with their own coolers if we take a look the 7600 non-x would come in with a wraith spire cooler while the two other models will come out with a uh, prism cooler from amd this wraith prism cooler is actually not bad for a 65 watt part the question will be well it's zen 4 a cpu that is always targeting like the highest temperature possible. So how is it going to fare with a cooler like this? And will there be a huge difference in performance if we just upgrade the cooler? Also, depending on silicon quality, is it possible that a non-X variant reaches the uh, speeds of an X variant? All things we'll have to consider when these CPUs release. So what are your thoughts on these CPUs? Personally, I'm glad AMD is bringing out more budget-friendly options that come with coolers. The only problem is that the, you know, B650 motherboards and x670 motherboards are still way up there in terms of pricing hopefully they come out with like an a620 um, that we see at ces that way the you know the price of entry is more in line with uh, a budget build so put your thoughts down below Moving on, we got Nvidia in the news, and uh, it looks like the company just can't catch any kind of good press these days. Well, I mean, it's kind of their fault, because this next one is a super dumb move. The company decided to remove game streaming from its game streaming product, the Nvidia Shield. In an update posted a couple of days ago, we have a game stream end of service notification. So let's read up. What's happening to game stream? Nvidia says starting in mid-February, a planned update to the Nvidia Games app will begin rolling out to Shield owners. With this update, the game stream feature will no longer be available in the app. Shield users can still continue to use game stream until that time. So in mid-February, game stream is gone. You can not update and you will continue to be able to use it. The only problem is that if anything breaks, there's gonna be no fixes. And you might be asking, well, what am I gonna do now if I'm using game stream? Well, Nvidia says uh, you can use Steam Link to stream games from your PC to the Shield. Steam Link supports 4K streaming and allows streaming to many devices, including PCs, phone, tablets, blah, 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 blah. The problem is Steam Link is just worse when compared to game stream. Nvidia just had the better product overall. And what's insane is that they're still selling the Shield TV and advertising it with Nvidia Game Game stream as one of its features in the gaming section. That means if you buy it now, you got two months of game stream and then it's gone. 
For me though, the annoying part is that it will affect other services like Moonlight, which uses the GameStream API to be able to stream your games into your tiny little consoles like these two that I have here. Fortunately, there's still an alternative. There's Sunshine, which is sort of a GameStream API that has been made by a community. And you could use this in conjunction with Moonlight to be able to use it on these tiny consoles. But still, I mean, NVIDIA, what the hell? Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.